I always start the night strong. Welcome back to another episode of Food Finders and Joy is finally back. Where, oh, where were you? I went to China to visit my grandpa, who I didn't get to see for the past three years. Very, very tough going in and even harder getting out, so thank God I have... Oh yeah, you made it out. But I'm back. This is the second last episode of Food Finders. Of Food Finders! So we are actually doing a bar episode. We're here at Club Street. Let's go to the first bar. Let's go! Spinning ah. theme just go, now go, go, go. fits quick, quick. in with the drunken theme. Raining, it's raining. Okay, so here we are at Club Street and we're at this bar called Low Tide. Low Tide. Well, there's two floors here. Yeah. So actually, um, if you've never been here, you only see the outside, yep. but there's actually multiple yeah, floors. Yeah, downstairs. Yeah. The top is more like ticky bar-ish vibes. And then the bottom is a bit more like mixologist. Fancy, uh, fancy. fancy, fancy cocktails are uh, like uh, bespoke. We're only going to be checking out the top floor. And the floor that we're on right yo. now. So let's check out what Low Tide has to offer. Let's go. All of the cocktails are designed by the in-house team. Pina Clarada and the Hurricane are actually on tap. We're gonna try the low tie number three today as well, which is a shaken one. Give it up to the barman. Do your stuff. What's the difference between cocktails on tap and cocktails not on tap? The taste of the shake and the infusion is like all this like different technique. Back to the day, like cocktails is like the only yeah. shake. Now it's like a new generation. Yeah. So everything's changed. It's the style, the culture. Now yeah. it's like a new school. Oh wow. Yeah, this is very strong. <laughs> Woo! Wow, this is very early for a very strong drink. It's good though. It's strong, but it's not like so strong that you don't want to drink this anymore. Mine has like the bitterness from the Campari like at yeah. the end. It's yeah. heavy but like it's on the fruitier side. This is more fruity I feel like. I taste a lot of the grapefruit, like citrus. This is a lot easier to drink though. No, this is a lot easier to drink actually. The, the scary thing is like the alcohol is higher, the booziness is higher on this. But this is very refreshing. If you're yeah, it has the whole a... like the tropical bar vibe, right? With Southeast Asian With influence. Southeast Asian influencers, oh. we learned that tiki is like a religion kind of thing. There, there are some negative bits to tiki. Negative connotations. Yeah, to negative the word connotation, tiki. so they don't really want to be associated with being a tiki bar. I think any bar in general yeah. don't really call themselves tiki there bars are nowadays. There a lot. There are a lot. I didn't know that as well. Google that yourself. Are we going for number three already? Yes. Which is Next one. the Pina Clearada. Cute. In a little pineapple cup. Yeah, I'm going to continue drinking. Ooh, interesting. Do you like pina coladas? I, I love don't... pina coladas. I actually don't like pina coladas. I right? think you might like it better than the really? regular pinas. Ah, it's interesting, right? I like this over yeah. a regular one. Yeah, this actually works a lot better. It also tastes like almost like a carbonated drink. It's a lot cleaner. Yeah, I like it's that. It's very clean, yes. Okay, so I like the uh, clarified pina colada. You're actually a fan of pina colada then. I'm not, but this is a surprising... Clearada! Yes. Clearada is very surprising. Yeah, today is like a bit of a hurricane day. So my favorite is the hurricane. It's just easy to drink even though it's very high alcohol based, but then it's also very sweet okay. for those who just want a chill drink. One, two, three. Five. 4.5. Whoa! Oh. You give a five? What? You never give a five before. I'm pretty happy with this. Is it because you're friends with them? Just kidding. The drinks yep. are good, vibes are good as well, so it's a good place to come with a friend. The good thing about Low Tide is really them having a second area downstairs. It's a double atmosphere date. You have some bites like dinner downstairs, there's like the fancy stuff, and then you come up. Oh, this is a different okay. venue. I think also the heart that goes into making the drinks is mm. also very admirable. What's, what's your name? Just call me Mike. Mike? Mikey, okay. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. No, I was thinking, no, no, Mikey. No, As Mikey, Mikey was saying, Mikey. everything yeah. is made yeah. in-house. They put a lot of heart yeah. into it. Even, you know, the staff can also just make a drink and just, you know, present it on the menu. Yeah. So I think that's really, really cool. Thank you, Mikey. Thank you for the drinks. That's it for low tide. We're going to go on to the next spot. Okay. Flower transition. Ah. We are now in grab heading to the next bar. There's and some uh, people in the back who we don't know. We <laughs> don't know, they're part of the crew. Hi. So wanna hear my story? <coughs> Crazy drunk stories. <laughs> Basically, go. it was at a Justin Bieber concert back in oh, Canada. Oh, wow, you're gonna get so drunk there at yeah, Justin dude. Bieber? Yeah, man. dude. It was my co-workers who we went for happy hour right before the concert and then we went into the concert and we were 
super drunk. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember half the concert, you know? I don't even know what he's saying. Nice. I, I just remember having a lot of yeah. fun. Then on the way back, I have to take the um, MRT equivalent in Vancouver, which is called SkyTrain. Mm -hmm. And then on the SkyTrain, it was like moving a little bit shaky. Yeah. I felt like I was, I, I need to puke. So after I got off the sky train, I was running downstairs because I need to puke, then I need to puke. As I was running downstairs from the train, I projectile puked into someone in front of Ew. me. <laughs> I couldn't control myself and I was like, no. Person in front of me, I don't think they realized. Like they look back, but they didn't suspect anything. To this day, they don't know. Yeah, I yes, was like, actually. fudge! We're here today because it's a little hidden gem near Tiambaru and River Valley area. The location is at 317 Otram Road, so that's why the bar name is called Atrium Bar 317. Yes. Enough talking, let's start yeah. drinking. They have a lot of uh, F lead silhouettes through the menu. You uh, can watch sports here while having a great drink. Watch sports, especially the during their happy hour, four to seven p.m. You get house sports at nine dollars plus plus. So yeah. that's really cheap. Every day, four to seven, even on the weekends. Yeah. Apparently, there's live bands <coughs> as well on Wednesdays and Fridays. I love matcha. I love egg white. So I think matcha club in, is my choice. But in a cocktail, it's yeah? like quite really? hard to pair because it's like bitter. <coughs> I like the double use of the gin, spicy, spicy. basil, gin, gin meal. Looks like the only fruity one to try is the grapefruit ginger margarita. Let's give it a go. Cheers! Okay. Oh. okay. Mm. Mine is really good. I really like how this tastes. Swap, you wanna swap? Wait, wait, that one is super refreshing. And also, I love the oh, egg white with the matcha infusion. Okay. Oh, this is strong. This is a bit strong. Oh shit, I meant to use alcohol. Yeah, this one is actually a bit strong, so you know that they definitely put alcohol in there. It's good, right? Surprisingly good. Like, you can still get the matcha, yeah. but it blends in oh, so wow. well. You know, I, I'm quite surprised. I, I did not think a matcha cocktail would be good. Do you like the, the margarita? I like margarita. it. I like that one. It's oh. like as if, you know, when you're about to get sick, just have a bit of that. Let the ginger wash your throat down, and you're all oh. good. I think it's like candied ginger, most probably. Oh, yeah. Right. Try it out. Okay, but you can drink it with the candy. Ooh, mm. It's pretty good, right? The candy is spicy. This is the spicy basil ginger meal. Ooh, okay, the more you stir, the more flavors come up. This one is the strongest. Is it spicy? It's a bit spicy. I can't tell if it's spicy from the ca candy or spicy from the drink. It's not that spicy. Is spice. it because my ginger candy? I think it's from the ginger mouth. candy. This actually tastes a lot lighter than like flavor wise. But yeah. it tastes like the strongest in terms of alcohol level. Does it? Does is it, it really? Is it the candy that's messing up my taste palette? I eat some like cheese or something. You say you didn't eat lunch, right? So yes. Go ahead. This is my lunch. Eat more. Okay, we try a bit of the burger. It's a bit cold, but actually the burger patty is super juicy. It's nothing fancy, it's pretty simple. Mm. I don't know if it's because I'm really hungry right now. I think you're just hungry. <laughs> but it's so good! <laughs> Which one do you think is your favorite? Probably the matcha one. It's, it's so easy to drink and that's scary. Assuming the amount of alcohol is like the same like, for everything. It's very fragrant when you first yeah. drink it. Definitely tastes a bit like matcha and with a little lemony citrusy. I was not expecting this standard. Not a lot of hotel bars are decent. One, two, three. Four. Four. Well, well, well. We okay, agree on something for the first time. Bad. All the drinks, I give it a five. Okay, the burger is like a ten out of five. <laughs> <laughs> the ambiance is nice. No, it feels more like a lounge. It's very uh, loungy vibe, so you can just relax for here. This is lounge. For the cheese platter and whatnot. I wish they had charcuterie. That would be nice. Maybe I'm being greedy right now. I think you just mean hungry. Burger transition. transition! What was the pickup line that you frequently so, yeah, yeah. use? So, so you'll start with like, hey, hey, touch my shirt. Touch it, touch it, okay. Can you tell what material this is? I think it's, it's made not of? boyfriend material. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know why it's not boyfriend material? Because it's husband material! Welcome to the Joy Show. So we're going to platform bar. It looks more like a cafe than a bar, honestly. You can have daytime drinking, nighttime drinking. Um, and there's is... a car coming. Oh, okay. There's a car coming. <laughs> Close there's up. Here, then. We're going to grab some drinks and snacks at platform. We're still staying alive. Not dying yet. Oh, Whoa, hello. Are you What's Kim? Yeah, this Kim. Oh my gosh, the owner is opening the door for us.
好花好水，水源 now at l a t o r m Well, I am the cocktail connoisseur because I have been、yep. to these awesome cocktail、okay. places, especially Platform.、Yeah. So what I like、right. about them is actually their floral-based、mm. cocktails. No wonder you like, you like the、uh, matcha. Is the, the matcha, matcha flower? Matcha is not a flower. They do emphasize on、yeah. low alcohol percentage. Why low ABV alcohol? Oh, like, well, but, you should ask the owner. Wait, let's, <laughs> let's market ourselves as modern day tonight. Believe that like profound drink is more enjoyable from day to night. All the、okay. conceptual drinks designed here without any dairy,、oh. no milk, no egg white. So, so if、oh. you're lactose intolerant, then also a good place to get some drinks. Yes.、Mm. What's the number? Yeah, what's the, the numbers? So low alcoholics. For the low alcoholic spirit, we use the number to tell story. For、so、example, the strawberry 200.、Uh, one strawberry there is average 200 sips. So later when we serve the drink, there's a small cue card along the drink. You find out the meaning of the number behind the cards. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. It's like a scavenger hunt. Thanks, Kim. Looking forward to the cocktails. And they have some light food. As well. Are you still hungry? Yeah, dude. But um, we were here more for the drinks, but、right. so we have the broccolini. I love broccolini.、And、then we have like this squid with、um, <laughs> brown butter sauce. Brown butter sauce.、Um, let's just eat、eating. the food first. Let's、eating. try it out. At the beginning, all I taste is the harissa sauce on top, but with the avocado cream、okay. at the bottom, it definitely lightens it up. I think you should pair it with the drink, maybe. Yes. So this is oolong number two. So I have the butterfly pea. That's why it tastes a bit like kombucha because it has butterfly pea kombucha. So there's a fun story behind all the numbers. This is the oolong number two. Cause two cups of oolong tea are recommended to consume daily. Mine、And、is more interesting, I think. In、okay. Kelantan, is、mm -hmm. eastern part of Malaysia, the dish nasi kerabu. Have you heard of nasi kerabu? Nasi, I think. Oh, nasi. <laughs> nasi sounds. This guy's a lunatic. Nasi kerabu is done by adding butterfly pea to the rice to achieve、What、beautiful bluish, bluish、yeah. tint. Oh wow, interesting. It's very buttery. Yeah, it's very buttery, very creamy.、Uh, you taste a lot of like the cream from the butter rather than just like oil. I think it's、yeah. a light, easy bite, especially with、yeah. all these drinks that you're having. Everything is like very light, airy, kind of just nice feel. Wait, you're supposed to eat the leaf before you drink. Try by yourself. So it is a cranberry hibiscus. Oh wow, sour. Wow, this is、milk. crazy. When you eat it, it's actually、it's、sour. The cocktail really blends well with the sourness of、okay. the leaf. Oh, so unique! I like that it's very clean and clear. Clean and clear, and doesn't taste like there's a lot of alcohol in there. <laughs> I think with the leaf, it's、yeah. like extra level. So we have the third drink, which is Osmanthus. Osmanthus coincidentally blooms during the mid-autumn festival when the full harvest is winding down and when it's the full moon.、Ah. This one, however, is 33 percent. So we also have to eat the leaf first. Okay, to be fair, it tastes like the weed from my backyard, like back in Canada. <laughs> When I first had it, it's, it's a very distinct flavor. Okay, that's very strong. I like. I the, think it's good for whiskey drink. I like、though. the texture. It's a lot thicker. It's very vanilla honey flavor for me. So favorite drink out of these three. I would say the oolong because I just love oolong, oolong tea.、Uh, I never、mm, tried a cranberry、mm. leaf that tastes like cranberry before. Favorite drink is probably the Osmanthus. In terms of the mouth feel, it's a lot thicker. So you have that syrupy feel. I generally like whiskey lah. So this kind of works. Okay, three, two, one. Four point five. Ah, okay. Because I've been here at nighttime, so the ambiance、okay. is really nice. It's like dark and moody. I actually like that it's not super crowded.、Uh, Creative process of like finding these edible plants and flowers. And the whole and flower concept, I think,、yeah. is just really nice. Th we are done at platform. We're gonna move off to the last position.、Um, If we make it. A transition、oh. from behind the、okay. scenes. Okay.、Woo. Next spot. Wait, I have something in my teeth. I have freaking broccolini in my teeth.、Oh, yeah. Where are we going to now? So we're gonna to... go to Flying Squirrel. Yes. It's super discreet. It's damn hard to find. Ta-da!、Yep, okay, so we're here. There's gin, elderflower syrup, cherry blossom. So momo sawa,、yeah. we're probably we're gonna get that as well, which、we're、is the whiskey and pea. Oh, sakatini looks yeah, good. Sakatini. Let's introduce the drink. So this is、yes. the sakura. sakura. It actually looks like green tea. And this is the sakatini. So this、uh, one is whiskey and、yeah. peach. Sounds pretty simple, but like looks like there's some foaming going on. Like perhaps there's some egg white. Do you think? Okay, I try this one first. Yes. <laughs> Actually, this tastes like a sparkling kind of alcohol drink. Not bad. It's really refreshing. Mine tastes like a、um, sweet soft drink. That sounds very different from how it looks. Switcheroo. Sake tini. Should I just eat a bit of this? Oh, what are you talking about? It's so. It's like very strong. After this, this is like so much lighter, right? Yes. 
Cucumber and sesame, I think, neutralizes a bit more of the sweet taste from the drink. So far, the drinks are like really easy to drink. Nothing super amazing. Is this a zagiri? Oh, we f***ed up. So this, this one is zagiri. Oh, that's not Okay, that makes no, so much oh more God, sense. Oh my God, makes so much sense. Makes... What are we talking about okay. this whole time? That's why we were like, why is this so flowery? But this is, I guess, exactly what I This is still the whiskey. <laughs> this is still Mama Sour. It's still the sour. whiskey with the peach. This is like a whiskey sour, I think. Mm. Peach is quite prominent. Strong. Usually, whiskey sours are a little bit more mm -hmm. stronger. So this yep. one is a lighter whiskey sour. Yeah. If you're looking for something okay. more fruity. I find the peach flavor a bit artificial. It's like a peach. fuzzy peach candy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Favorite drink oh. of this tree? I feel yeah, like so, you like this one. Yes, sake tea. Hi! Probably the highest alcohol content, I feel. I think so. And, like, it just I mean, has more things packed into it. My favorite mm. is definitely the Sakura because I just felt okay. like it's the, the most, most easiest to drink. Three, two, one. Flavor Three. five. I think like the flavor direction for everything is too common. It's towards the easy, repetitive, refreshing, repetitive, sweet yeah. side. It's really nothing new for me. For me, I think the concept is there, but the execution could be better. So that's it for Flying Squirrel. <laughs> All right, so we have concluded our four uh, bars today. I am. <laughs> so what was your favorite bar? I have to say, my favorite yes. drink today that I'm the most impressed by is okay. the matcha. Because I think it was okay. the most okay. surprising. But the best bar that I felt like all around like yep. niceness, I can't decide because it's two different vibes, platform okay. and low tide. Those bars are more like ambiance heavy. I like high tide. High tide! Low it's tide. Low My shoulder hurts. I feel like we should do like a all co-host hub crawl. What do you guys think? If you agree with me, write in the comments. Speaking comments. of comments, so let's just go through some of Joy's video comments. Joy is a fantastic host. This is your friend. Come on, he has to be your friend. Ancient Deny. TK100, you my man. Whoever you that is. Man. Oh, I like this one. I like how she pronounces right. croissant. Croissant. Papi, 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 chulo. <laughs> You know what I, I mean? I don't even know. I don't know what it means. I have no idea. Wait, I, does it have a meaning? I, I don't know. Chilo means a dandified or effeminate man. A or pimp. A, or a pimp. Yeah. Thanks for that comment. So we have one more episode left before the season ends. Seth is going to take a break and maybe cut his hair. No, that's not going to happen. Bye. All right. Thanks for See watching. You See you next time. Bye. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely. Bye. Why do we like? <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. Hey, hello. So we have like. <laughs> Random people inside. Yay, yay. Uh, uh, Seth, Seth Seth Louis Louis com. Yay. <laughs> yay. Oh, oh, okay. Yay, okay. I don't know how we're gonna end it. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I just wanna share oh, a, a photo image of Seth in real time right now.